Hi guys, bargain store project time again. We made the rat trap car last night. So that means I've got this pack of three mouse traps left to do something with. And I guess the obvious thing is to see if I can make a mouse trap car. So something a bit smaller than the rat trap car. So that's what I'll do. Uh, just for the sake of it, I think I'll use my polystyrene donuts that I was trying to make a um, electromagnet with the other day. I think I might use that as the wheels. I shall cut up a couple of these polystyrene plates, use them to make the uh, dishes either side of the wheels and just see if I can make a couple of wheels out of these for the, the back wheels for the mousetrap car for no reason other than it might be interesting to try and do it right when I was cutting these plates up for a project the other day I worked out I could cut a six inch disc out the middle of it and a six inch disc will go across the inside of here quite nicely not right inside but across about there somewhere so one of them either side and something across the middle for the axle and that should be a fairly lightweight wheel I've got an idea for the axle Probably not practical, but I'm going to give it a try just because it might be interesting. I've got a drinking straw here, and I've got a couple of those wooden stirrers that you get for stirring your coffee in coffee shops. And that happens to fit inside there. So I might just try and see if I can make an axle out of that for no good reason other than it might be interesting. Okay, cut me discs out of my plates. So now I shall hot glue them onto the donut. Right, there we are, that's my two back wheels made out of some polystyrene donuts, as I keep calling them, and some polystyrene plates to fill in the sides. I've actually put some ball pen tubes as the axles just inside the wheels just to give it a bit more strength and then this is my drinking straw with a couple of wooden stirrers inside it which I'm going to try and use as the main axle okay I think the front wheels will just be ordinary CDs because that was a lot of fuss to make those wheels. Interesting to do, but a lot of fuss. Okay, now we've got a mouse trap. Yep, that one works. So we need to put a chassis on. Use my flower canes again. Been using these for quite a few projects lately. They're not particularly straight, but that doesn't really matter for what I want them for. What I'll do is I'll cut one in half and make the chassis out of it and then I'll cut the other one in half and use that to extend the arm. Right, I've just hot glued the chassis either side of the mouse trap 
There we go, just a couple of layers of ordinary sticky tape. I say a couple, that's probably about six layers to give it some strength. Right, to attach the axle to the back of the chassis, I've taken a couple of paper clips and wrapped them around a pencil. The pencil's actually thicker than the axle, so when I take the pencil out, the axle will slide in there easily. And all I'm going to do is hot glue them and either wire or tape them to give them a bit of extra strength. Right, there we are. Hot glued and wire wrapped at the same time. Hopefully these will give me a bit of top chance to adjust things if necessary. Right, I've just nicked these wheels and axle off one of my old cars. All it is is CDs with bottle tops as hubs and that's a barbecue skewer as the actual axle. So I shall hot glue a drinking straw on the end there and feed the axle through it. That'll do for that end. But before I do that we need to put some lever arms on here. I think I will use two, one on either side. And all I'm going to do is use these cable ties to strap it on. Okay, we're coming together. So three cable ties on either side. Put a couple on the end just to hold it together. Glue a drinking straw on the front. Put the wheels on the back. Need to put a peg in the middle. I'm not sure whether to make this I might. I think I might just make the centre bigger by wrapping some foam round it before we get going. Right, I've thickened up the back axle a bit and put a peg in it to catch hold of a bit of string. I've just hot glued the drinking straw across the front so we can stick our front wheels on. need a bit of string and we can go and give it a test run. Okay, all ready for a test run. Got a bit of string. Put it on the hook. in the right direction. I think we're going to have to video that from a different position so you can see it travel. Okay and this time I'll try and chase it so we can see it operating. There we go. No idea what distance that's going to cover. It shoots up these five metre kitchen easily. So I just think it will roll on for quite a bit after that. I like that one. That's fun. Better do a quick summary, haven't I? Okay, back wheels made out of polystyrene donuts, as I call them. Uh, they're actually labelled polystyrene wreaths for making Christmas decorations. Um, mousetrap. What I call garden canes. They're actually labelled flower canes. I think they're made out of bamboo. They're about 
5mm thick. Back axle was made out of a drinking straw with a couple of wooden uh, stirrers put inside to give it strength. And I've also beefed up the back axle there with some uh, foam cut from a foam plate wrapped around it just to make it thicker. Back axle is held onto the chassis by some paper clips that I've wound round a pencil and then hot glued onto the end of the chassis with a couple of bits of wire twist round it as well to make sure it's rigid. Front axle is a drinking straw um, or at least the, the tube for the axle is a drinking straw. The actual axle itself is a barbecue skewer. Front wheels are just CDs with bottle tops hot glued on them and I think that's it. Oh, the, um, the mousetrap is actually hot glued onto those um, canes and I've also wrapped some sticky tape around it just to make sure it's good and solid. The only thing I'd make slightly different if I made this again a second time is that I've actually made the these extensions to the arms they actually get in the way when it's fully over that way um, it doesn't go all the way down so I can't link the release mechanism up because they actually get in the way when it goes flat it can't go flat Let's see if we can get an angle on that see they're in the way so I'd need to adjust that, put them on the side instead of on the top. But that's a little flyer that one is, that, that's excellent. So that's Bargain Store Project 31. Three mouse traps for 87 pence. That works fine.